Hey guys, welcome to a new UChat Training Wednesdays. And today we have a really, really exciting topic, namely OpenAI Embedding. This allows you to train OpenAI to respond to your business information. And it is really, really amazing. So let's dive in. So first of all, you will need to go towards your integration section from the left-hand menu. So from the integrations, you will go towards the artificial intelligence, AI, and then OpenAI. You will need to install your uh, OpenAI API key, and you can find that by going towards beta.openai.com. And once logged in, so let me log in real quick. From the main dashboard, you will be able to go towards personal on the top right corner, go towards view API keys, and from here you can create a new secret key. Once created, copy and paste it directly inside the integration here under the API key, and you'll can also insert your organization ID if you have any. And then you will be able to start with your embedding on the bottom hand of the screen. So how does embedding work? Embedding is basically similar towards dialect flow, which is an intent. You train that intent uh, into understanding the user's context. OpenAI does not require that much of training. Basically, it requires two pieces of information and a heading and a text. A heading is basically a topic where the text will be the explanation. And as you can see, I just set up a few for my own personal chatbot. Most of the embeds are regarding my membership, where I provide templates, workshops, coaching, etc., and how to join the membership and stuff like that. So you can create a new embed by pressing the button on the uh, right corner, right? By pressing the new embedding. Then you can give it a heading and can give it a text. I will skip this because I have quite a few embeds, but once you provided these, then you can press create. Before testing it inside of a flow, and that was my initial mistake as well, you need to press the regenerate uh, key to basically regenerate the embeddings. Basically this will upload all the embeddings and all the changes that you made inside the embeddings to OpenAI where you will be able to get the proper response back. So once doing so, it will basically circle around for a few seconds, and then you will get a confirmation that it has been completed. Now comes the fun part, and we can go inside the flow builder to have some fun with this. So if we go inside, I built a really, really short flow, as you can see here. Basically, I want to capture a certain reply from a user, right, a certain question. And then we are going to apply OpenAI. And the way that you need to see OpenAI is we need to do that in two steps. We have two special actions. The first action is to match the embed. So from this initial question, we're going to check if OpenAI is really confident into matching the correct embed. So if I go inside, as you can see here, the actions that you have are create text completion, which was already available. We have search embedding match, right? Then we have the embedding match and completion, which is basically the next step and image generation. For now, we are just going to concentrate on the embedding of the match and embedding match and completion. So the first part is the embedding match. So can OpenAI match the correct intent? So if I state, Something like, do you have templates? A user types something like this in, and then we are going to test the request. And from here, you will get a lot of information, right? So you will see that the heading templates has been matched. The text belonging towards that embed, towards that heading will also be displayed. And we also have a score, as you can see here. So what I found during my testing, at least, everything above the score 0 0.79 is a proper match. So what you can do, you can map anything that you like to. I mapped a few things, as you can see here. So I have mapped the entire array that you get back. So the OpenAI match, I called it. Then I am going to map the specific score, the OpenAI score. And I also have the result items because in the result items, you basically have the other embeds available as well. So if we take a look here, you will see that template has been matched 
first and foremost as the highest ranking score but then we will also have lower ranking scores so email contact workshops and coaching all have a lower score each time that you scroll down right so what you could do in the next step is to check your embed score so if the open ai score which i saved right so this is a custom field that i saved in the previous one is greater than or equal to 0 0.79 then we're going to the embed match and completion step but if not i'm wanting to show an faq of sorts and this faq basically it states it seems i was not entirely sure about the reply to give you but do take a look if the following might give you a solution and then i'm going with a for each step basically generating gallery cards to provide the faq section so we will take a look at how this looks like in just a few seconds but then i will be able to match the specific um, the specific topic that they choose from that faq and then give the proper answer and then just for testing purposes i just added a try again feature if i wanted to just to speed up the testing but if the score is greater than or equal to 0 0.79 i'm going with an embed match and completion action as you can see i'm going with the action embedding match and completion and then the input will be open ai match result dot heading and basically this is because i saved this as you remember in the other action step for open ai i match everything in the open ai match right so i get the entire array back the entire response and i save that inside this json field so this entire response i'm saving here and then you will see that the open underscore match dot heading will be saved as such and i can basically map anything that i like here so what i did inside the match and completion step is basically going with the open match uh, open ai match and then basically have the input as heading so i'm going to select the heading as you can see here i get everything back and i can just map this heading the next step will be to give the open ai model uh, context about the completion so what kind of answer do they need to generate so i'm going with the user as the following question and again i'm going with that json field open ai match because if we take a look here under the result section and then the input do you see that i have this uh, text available so this is the text that the user sent the input so do you coach so i'm selecting this input right so the user asks the following question, do you coach? Generate a reply with the following context. And then as you can see, another JSON field again with the following context. And then I'm basically giving OpenAI the context of the embed that I used here. So under the coaching step, I provided some context. So the text here, right? And that will be displayed here as well. And then I'm going to give OpenAI permission to make a variant of that reply so each time a user basically asks these kinds of questions openai will generate a response based on this reply on this text that i provided inside the embed and if we do so so let's say test request then you will see that we get a reply back so here we have coaching here we have the text belonging towards that embed right so coaching embed and then here is the input is coaching because i implemented this as such and then lastly we have the completion and as you can see this is a variant of what i provide here right so this is the context that i gave openai and they provided a variant here. So yes, I do provide coaching service to help you integrate chatbots into your business or your clients. You can book a session here. So you can see that this is a small variant, but if I test it again, I should get a different kind of variant in the completion step. So if I do so, you will see that I get a different reply. So use, yes, I do provide coaching services in the area 
of chatbot integration for businesses. So that's already a different kind of response, right? You can book a session here and then I give my, basically my URL, which I gave inside the text of the embed itself. So any URL, any phone number that you use inside this, basically this embed itself, right? If you use that inside the proper context, inside the introduction of the embedding match and completion step, then OpenAI will be able to create a variant of this. You can basically map this response to a custom field. As you can see, I did already at the bottom where I have the result.completion here and I map that to open AI response and then press add and then it will show up below. But this is the way that you can use open AI embedding and you don't have the disadvantage of dialect flow where you will need to train with 10 or 20, maybe even up to 50 different kinds of training phrases to let dialect, on, dialect flow understand the context of the user's request. This is just one embed. We have a heading and we have a certain text to give the context of this specific reply that OpenAI needs to give, right? So let's see how this works. So if we say open in a pop-up and we will get to ask this question, how can I help? So let's say, um, what is the best platform to use for chatbots? So one of the embeds that I have here is best platform. And then I gave some context here, right? So I'm asking a question based on the best platform. So let's see if OpenAI is confident enough to give proper context. So if I say send, then we will see whether or not OpenAI will give that context. And since it's already taking a few seconds, OpenAI is already providing a proper reply. So let's see what we get. Designing on the best platform can be different for everyone, but I recommend UChat. It provides an omni-channel builder, email and SMS capabilities, native e-commerce and integration with AI. Plus all features are white labeled. So you can check out UChat at and then the specific, uh, as you can see the specific uh, URL to see if it fits your needs. So let's try it one more time and let's give something completely random. Does Shopify integrate? Yes or no? And let's see if OpenAI can match this. As you can see, because the score was too low, so the score, uh, if we take a look at the condition step, the score, the OpenAI score here is basically lower than 0 0.79, it goes towards this step. And now it's going to basically give the for each step and giving a sort of FAQ uh, reply, right? By giving all the matched embeds, so the highest scored embeds. So as you can see here, it seems I was not entirely sure about the reply to give you, but do take a look if the following might give you a solution. So we have coaching, we have workshops, we have best platform, uh, we have templates, and join the membership. So let's say that although OpenAI was not able to match exactly the correct embed in this case, which there is none, it gives the user instant FAQs where the user can choose from. So let's say best, uh, let's say I'm going for workshops, right? So then it will provide with the exact text that belongs towards this embed. So I have many workshops that show how to integrate chatbot marketing automations into your business. You can access them all through my membership, the chatbot marketing accelerator, basically exactly the same what I set up. Because if we take a look here, I basically save the text embed that belongs towards this heading. So in this case, workshops, I save the text directly towards this system field called select, right? So this is how you can use OpenAI with minimum training, just providing a heading and some text. Basically the text will be the explanation and then OpenAI will basically be able to provide an answer towards your users with relative ease as well. This allows you to train the chatbot 
for your specific business instead of needing to fine tune models, which is also really costly because if you want to add it add towards the fine tuning model, you will need to replace it entirely and then upload a completely new fine tuned model. With OpenAI Embed, you can just add another embed and train your chatbot that way. With just adding another embed, it will be much more cost effective and the results are really, really amazing. So if you have any questions, do let us know and we'll try to help you out. But for now, try this out yourself. Try OpenAI Embedding and see how it can help your chatbot to become a lot, lot smarter. So have fun, be creative, take care, and we'll talk to you really, really soon.